Hi guys, this is Lydia Wenty, the lifestyle coach, and my special guest, Eve. <laughs> I'm, she's the person I made. She's great. Um, and she's going to be in the shot, but not too distracting, so I told her she could be here. Okay, so anything, anything that you do in life um, will only be a successful endeavor um, with being consistent with it. So the being consistent is key, but a lot of times when we make any sort of change, we get pushback from our brain. So something that happens over and over because we have this part of our brain that doesn't want change to happen is that you'll just have, you'll, okay, screw it, screw it feeling. Just like, okay, I'm done, whatever, right? And this may be familiar. So think of like maybe, you know, if you are doing some healthier eating, um, you know, you're, tr you're trying to stick to something, whether it's an exercise plan or healthy eating or whatever it is, you'll run into some sort of obstacle where you feel like it's a setback. Um, so when you run into those things, you have this reaction from your brain that usually tells you, well, hey, if I can't do it perfectly, then whatever, screw it, right? The screw it feeling is what we're talking about. So that's really what happens. And then how we react to that um, really determines if we're going to be consistent or not. So I'm going to teach you how to overcome or move past that screw it feeling um, because that's really what's going to bring your success. It's not about perfection. It's about staying with it and it's about being consistent. So that's a really big part of it. So you have this like higher brain, I call it the you brain, that is the one who wanted you to make a change anyways, the one who wanted you to maybe, you know, eat healthier or start, you know, a workout plan or whatever it is. But then you have this other part of your brain that's back here, I call it the chatter brain. And by back here, I mean, it's like literally located like in, like down here in your brain as opposed to up here in your brain. Yes, so Eve is showing you. So this is the you brain, where's the chatter brain? Thank you. Yep, <laughs> you've got it. Okay, so that part of your brain, like kind of the, the survival part of your brain, um, either tells you, right? So get this, it's the perfectionist part of your brain. So it either tells you don't do it, or if you do do it, it tells you you have to do it perfectly, right? So it's a it's a black and white extreme part of your brain, which helps you with survival, you know, but isn't necessarily helping you continuing with your goals. So what's going to happen is when you hear that little voice in your head, what I call it the chatter of like, oh, screw it, right? It's like, oh, we messed up. It's, it's this feeling of, well, I was eating healthy, but now I've had dessert, so screw it. I might as well just eat whatever I want and, yeah, more and more dessert because, well, I'm done for the day, right? So realize, like, time is just a made-up thing, right? Like, time, the 24 hours or the, oh, it's the first today or it's, oh, it's Monday or, oh, it's the next morning. Like, all that is completely made up. So that's that's a falsehood anyway. So what you're going to do or what you can do if you choose to when you run into this feeling is just um, take a deep breath. A lot of times that signals to our body that things are calm. Like it's a, it's a physiological signal to our body that like we're okay. So nobody like sees a tiger running at them and like stops to take a deep breath, right? So it'll kind of calm that part of your brain that would want you to just like, you know, okay, screw it, give up. You can't do it perfectly. So don't do it at all, right? Um so take a deep breath. That's a really great thing that you can do um, really to like change your brain. It seems like a really simple thing, but that deep breath is going to help. Um, and then the other thing is what I call calling out the chatter. Now, this is this is actually a tool that helped me completely overcome uh, my years of binge eating. Um, for my clients, this is one of the main tools that I use for them to essentially rewire their brain um, to either start and create or to end any sort of habit in their life. Um, and what it is, it's like a fun little neuro hack, like it's a little like trick for your brain. It's when you say the th sort of thoughts and urges and feelings from that survival, like primal part of your brain, and you say them out loud, which kind of like wakes up the you brain, because that's the part of your brain that uses speech. So it can be something as simple as like, let's say you're going through your day, um, you're trying to eat healthy, and then you went out and you're like, oh, well, a cookie won't hurt, right? And you have the cookie, and then you have this thing that pipes up in your brain, that chatter that says, okay, oh, dessert, yeah, it's like, well, screw it, right? Like you've already eaten the cookie, the day is ruined, 
So first, you're going to take a deep breath. And next, you're just going to bring attention, like shine a light on that thought, right? So shine a light and say, okay, so that chatter is saying, you know, that voice in my head, that little thing that pops up is saying that because I ate one cookie, the whole day is ruined. So that on its own is probably going to bring you some clarity because then you're going to be operating from your more logical part of your brain, yeah. like the brain that creates those goals. Um, and I'm kind of summing it up really tight here, but if you want some more information, go to LydiaVideo.com. Um, that is my YouTube channel and I have short little fun videos that kind of describe how these tools work. So. That's another thing you can do. So number one, take a breath. Number two is call out that chatter, like bring attention to that feeling. And then once kind of like that, that initial, okay, screw it while well, I'm giving up, like the day is ruined feeling <laughs> sort of melts away because those things will help it to melt away. Once that melts away, this third step um, is really useful because now you need to fill that space with something. You've given yourself a little space with a deep breath, like you're, you're logically bringing your mind to, you know, those, those thoughts that kind of piped up for you. And then you can just say something like, okay, so what am I, so what am I going to do? What are you going to do? I ask, I, I say it that way. Like I say to myself, sorry, apparently if you get a call while you're doing a live broadcast, stuff happens. Okay. So once you have that space and a question I'll ask myself, I'll just say, okay, all right, what are you going to do? Okay. So follow this out with me. Okay. So, oh, I had a cookie. Ah, uh, screw it. The day's ruined. I might as well, to you know, eat dessert. a bunch of dessert. Okay. You need to be quiet. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. So you give yourself that space, you shine the light on it. And now that that feeling is kind of dissipated, you're asking yourself, okay, what are you going to do? And now you're thinking from your logical part of your brain, right? So isn't that interesting that like you're wanting to eat healthier. So you have a cookie and then you say, screw it. Or that voice says, the chatter says, well, screw it. Just go ahead and eat whatever else dessert you want. But that totally distracts you from your first goal of eating healthy, right? Like you will not become healthy or unhealthy in a day. Really? It's impossible. Like nothing you do in one day matters very much. It's about the patterns that you're creating. So when you ask yourself like, okay, so what do you want to do? What am I going to do? What that really is signaling to yourself is what is the small thing that I can continue to do today to reinforce that goal? It's a way when you get kind of wobbly to recenter yourself. And so you just say, okay, what am I going to do? Okay. So I had a cookie. I had a cookie. I want to eat healthier and I had a cookie. And guess what? Cookies are not the end of the world and that's okay. And I can have a cookie and healthy people have a cookie sometimes. And then just continue on. It's not the little things that you do that set you back from your goal. It's all the stuff that you do after you have that, oh, those are the things that really, oh, thanks guys. <laughs> Everyone's saying Eve is cute. Hi, Eve. Hi. Everyone's saying hi. <laughs> yeah, she's my little like background dancer. So, okay, just to reinforce that thought, it's not the little things that you might, you know, mess up on. It's all the stuff that you do afterwards. It's not the one cookie that you eat that's kind of off of your healthy eating, you know, goal for the few days or however long you're trying to do that. It's the, it's the cake and the popcorn and the candy and the other thing that you grab like from the store. Theater. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's like the movie theater. See, she knows there's lots of unhealthy stuff like that in the movie theater. So it's all of those things that actually set you back in your, in your goals. It's not the one cookie. It's the cascade of things that come from that well screw it feeling. So this is just a way to prevent all of the rest of that aftermath. If you can just get recentered and not do all the other stuff, seriously, messing up every once in a while or having a cookie or being a little bit off or skipping a day or whatever it is, those things are not going to keep you back from ultimately where you want to go. It's, it's the feeling that if you can just navigate, everything is okay, right? So just to recap, number one, take that deep breath, give yourself a little bit of space. 
Number two, call out the chatter. Again, if you want some more information on how to do that and some other examples, go to LydiaVideo.com for some fun little um, things, some fun little videos about how to do that. Um, and then number three, ask yourself, okay, what are you going to do now? And that question, what are you going to do now, is just to wake up that logical part of your brain to say, okay, what can I do now to just make the day the best that I can, cookie and all, right, for whatever your ultimate goals are. So hopefully that helps um, to kind of get yourself recentered when that, you know, primal sort of like, well, if I can't do it perfectly, I'm not going to do it at all. In fact, I'll go the other direction. Just navigating that can make such a huge difference for any sort of goal that you want to to accomplish in your life. So there you go. Hope that helps. Um, I have a free ebook that goes into more depth on these principles um, for building a business, for helping your relationships, for quitting binge eating or overeating or emotional eating, um, all those sorts of things. It's a free ebook download that comes right to your inbox. Um, very simple. If you just go to LydiaWenty.com, L-Y-D-I-A-W-E-N-T-E dot com, um, and you can get it right there. Um, and then you'll also be subscribed for some more tips in my weekly newsletter. I have new videos that come out every Monday, y'all. So, signing off, this is Lydia Wenty, the Lifestyle Coach. And, and me. And me. All right. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Mwah.